Alright, I want to go over visibility graphics in this section. We went over object styles which allows you to change the section cut line, color, uh, line type, and the uh, projection or elevation line, color, type, and thickness for the object and that's reflected in all of the views that are in section and elevation. We also looked at the material application for the section cut and how that represents and is also updated for every instance of that object that is cut. Sometimes you want to be able to change the um, properties of the section and elevation and various other things in individual views and not have all the other views update. So let's take a look at how you do that. I'm going to open up this project. We have a different model in this project, but you know, a model is a model, so it should be fine. Um, if I go to level one floor plan, <clears throat> it's sectioning through this guy, and you'll see that it has a fill of gray and a section cut line and elevation line. I'm going to go ahead and open up the um, object styles dialog box to confirm our settings. So if I go to Manage, Object Styles, and you'll see if I scroll down to the Mass category that the projection is set to 1, which doesn't do anything in here, but the um, cut is set to 2. I'm going to thicken that up a little bit. I'll go ahead and set that section cut to, oh, let's say something thick like an 8. Apply that. And that'll update that to an 8. If I zoom in, you can confirm that. Go back to my object styles. And let's take a look at the imported objects. I'm going to leave my elevation line set to 1. I'm fine with that. But I just want to confirm over here in the material that it is, in fact, set to a gray fill. And it is. So I'm going to click OK. Click OK. So that means that if I open up level 2, I should be getting the same reading. So that changes for every instance of that object that has not been overridden. Um, so let's say we wanted to change the properties of just one view and we'll, we'll do level two. And to do that you can uh, use your visibility graphics overrides. So to open that up you can type V twice. So VV opens up your visibility graphics override. So you can see the override there. and that means it's going to override the object styles just for the floor plan level two. So if I scroll down to the mass category, we have multiple different um, things that we can override. I'm going to override the cut pattern here. So I'm going to left click in this gray box and an override is going to come up and I'm going to left click on it. I'm going to change the color to blue and I'll just come down here and select solid fill. It'll do the same thing and click OK and click apply and click OK. So now this level 2 is set to blue but if I go to level 1 it is in fact still set to gray so it's only changed the qualities of level 2. So I'll go back to my visibility graphics level 2 scroll down and let's take a look at the surface pattern. So I'll click on pattern override and let's choose a color of gray is fine and then for the pattern I am just going to pick how about a crosshatch. Click OK, apply and you'll see that that crosshatch has then been applied to this material or to this surface. And that is true in the shaded or in the hidden line versions of this. Okay, And we can just go back to level 1 and confirm in fact that that is still set to the object styles. And if I came in and say I went to my east elevation and I turned on my show mass form and floors my mass shows up. I'm just going to create another level. So architecture level and let's just create another level about right here and I'm going to select that and flip the level head 
and I'll double click on level 3 and you can see that level 3 is in fact the same as the object styles because it has not been overridden. Okay, so um, obviously if I go to level 2 just to be consistent there are other things you can override and you can kind of play with these settings. So for example I could do transparency and let's just make it you know I don't know 25 percent transparent click OK and apply and you can see that that begins to get that blue gets a little lighter and you start to be able to see through the object so if I go to VV again let's see if we can make it a little bit more transparent and see what happens so go in there let's t kick it on up to 71 hit apply right and you can see that starts to get transparent there's not a lot to be seen through this piece um, but you can see the um, the general application of it um, let's just go to quickly let's go to a parallel view and I'll do a VV in here and let's see what transparency does in here just to confirm click OK apply and click OK. So now you can see that you can start to see through that object. Okay, so that's visibility graphics. You can play with that. There are other things that you can set in the visibility graphics so you could actually turn your shadows on. Um, the shadows are not representing because it's it's transparent so it's not showing the shadows. If we went to say perspective that could be a setting in here um, for visibility graphics as well. So go ahead and play with those visibility graphics and um, it's a good way just to sort of go in and test different settings and see which ones you like. All right.